Hello, well, you are watching SAB News. My name is João Novaes. And I'm Joshua Horta. Our West Hill Institute teacher, Sam Daly, is helping children via online classes that don't have the conditions of an education. Yes, yeah, Sam Daly is helping these children via some online classes, and I think it is really wonderful of him doing that. Uh, so let's get into the schools so we can learn more about the, the topic, shall we, Joshua? Yes. No. Okay, we're here in Mr. Sam Walt Davies' classroom, uh, and we're going to interview him. The way I teach, or the way I ended up teaching this was, uh, I had learned about a casa hogar, is what it's called. It's basically a children's home. Um, so some of the kids aren't necessarily homeless. Um, a lot of them do have families, but for one reason or another, they were put into the system of the diff. Um, because it could be a lot of different situations at home. Um, and so then they were sent to other organizations that would take care of them, um, which in this case was this Casa Hogar, which was located in Texcoco. So when I went to visit, uh, I met a guy there who uh, basically introduced me to everyone, and then I told him, hey, if there's any way I could you know, support, uh, that would be, I, I would love to do that. And he was like, yeah, if uh, you could, teach English, and so I was like, sure. He teaches in a different way, a way I like personally. Uh, currently, we're actually working on a summative assessment on argumentative, uh, on argumentative essays, uh, or trying to persuade, like persuasion. You know, for me, it's, it's a way of helping out. It's a way of uh, reaching out. Um, also, for me, it's a way of uh, expressing my faith. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of challenges. Um, there's one or two that maybe would be at an A2 level in English, which is not fluent, but you know some English. And then the rest uh, don't know anything. Uh, the classes with Mr. Sam are like really, like, he teaches with the class very well. Like he explains every subject really well. Yeah, he, he always like, he's very nice. He, he never screams at us like most of the time. And he always like explains everything. I'll admit I haven't had a super structured plan, partly because, I mean, I have my job here. And so this is my first priority. Um, but my structure has been that I will teach conversational English uh, mixed with different lessons on grammar. I've never taught a very, very basic English class. So I've been learning as I've been going. But what I'm hoping to move on to in the future is to actually have, use something um, online, some kind of online platform um, to basically maybe, for example, like Padlet um, to help them to help me organize my lessons and also to help them keep up with the lessons um, so that they don't forget what they've learned. So right now we're doing a project that we have to do um, videos explaining um, arguments and everything and it's sometimes really hard, but not most of the time. I do see it as an expression of my faith in Christ and uh, just treating other people the way you want them to treat you. Uh, it's not a lot, but it's, it's giving them something um, that they could use as a tool uh, in the future to help improve themselves. So, since I was, when I was about 13, I would say is when I started to actually take my faith seriously. Um, I was always around Christianity, uh, grew up in a Christian home, but when I was about 13 is when I really started to actually read the Bible and really try to follow it and follow God. And that's, that's really what's changed me. I mean, that's the reason I do this. Um, if I hadn't had that conversion, I, I don't think I would be here. I don't think I would be teaching uh, English to this Casa Hogar. Like, like I said, I like the way he teaches, but a lot of students I don't think likes the way he teaches. But I, I really enjoy the way that he does teach. It's going to take some time to get all those children a home and education, but it's worth it for the better. Well, indeed. But this conclude our new cast. Thank you all for watching and start considering and appreciating what you have. Correcto. Anyhow, thank you for listening to our newscast. So that's all for today and have some great day, afternoon or night from SAB News. S-A-B.